Okay, dear America, I'm speaking to you with urgent, and I repeat, urgent things that need to be done. The famous scientist that's in New York, uh, the physicist that said, I believe his name is Mikio or something like that. He's at one of these fancy institutions. I'm not a scientist, I don't have no degree, but I'm gonna write you the, the theory of the universe or the Big Bang or uh, how black holes are formed. Okay, first, the reason of urgent message for this is that there was a 4.5 earthquake in California. There's been a 7 point something in uh, Peru and another one, we've been having earthquakes like there's no tomorrow. The reason for the earthquakes is we're uh, degassing the planet or sucking the oil out of the planet or sucking the blood out of the planet. And that's why the planet is compressing on itself Pretty soon we're heating a little core on the inside of the planet and and it's starting to shake. Our core is probably starting to shake. It's it's heating up, it's a magnet, magnet, it's magnetosphere is weakening. Everything's everything's going bad. It started off years ago back in the fifty, the government warned us. Ozone's opening up. That happened. Strike one. Strike two is our, magnus, our magnetic sphere is weakening. NASA said it's probably 5% uh, weaker, but uh, they went back, recalculated it, and I believe it's like 18% weaker. And I believe it's getting weaker every, every day. Every day they pump, pump uh, that antifreeze in the ground thinking they're gonna cool the core. Antifreeze doesn't cool the core, it acts as a conductor because uh, the blood of the earth, the oil, and gases that's in the earth are insulators. And if you don't believe that they're not insulators or insulation, you uh, look at any pole, any uh, electrical pole or anything like that, the OCB switches that's in all the transformer units or all in all the substations, they, uh, they switch the electricity, it turns it off and on, lightning storm hits your line, it'll come open up. Uh, open switch, shut that power off for a second, then it'll come back on, and if it defaults clear, it'll keep running. If not, it'll uh, open and close again if there's a fault in the line, and that's basically that the oil in there, and it's, it's in everything. The oil I used to test in the service, maybe that's why I'm this crazy or something talking to you, but I used to change the oil in the transformers, and uh, we used to have to test it, and we tested it with a little meter. We opened up, we opened up the contacts, eighth of an inch big, and then we had applied power and seen how much power it would take to uh, make the oil go bad or whatever. Well, we would set it at an eighth of an inch, turn it, and it, and whatever it went bad at, that's the number we had to write down, and that's what the oil was at. So. Like you imagine a OCB switch, it's the oil's, it's probably this far open, so you take that 30,000 volts or whatever, and you're, you're, if you're safe enough or not. But anyhow, then, then another thing for gases. Gases are insulation too. The natural gas, everything that comes out of the ground, it acts as, a, acts as an insulator and and whatever, if you don't believe me, all the transformers and airport hangars are filled with nitrogen. They, they separate the electrical power, they make it right. So I believe our planet, the little core inside, is sitting here shaking. And that's why we're getting all these dang earthquakes around the world. There's, come on, 106 of them in uh, Oklahoma alone last year? Jesus Christ, what the hell you do, Bush? You assign a bill that says, let's put the fracking fluid down in there. We, and uh, I believe this fracking fluid is probably the old antifreeze that's coming out of cars and, uh, and everything else. And, and the government said, well, you got to store it because it's your stuff. You made it, you store it. And so they can't store the stuff. No one wants to store it. So what do you do? You sign a bill and allow them to shove it back down in earth. So that's poisoning the earth. 
and it's it's not acting as insulation like it should be down there it's acting as a conductor the sun's rays coming the magnet magnetosphere is weaker more rays go to get into the sun and bang you're heating this core and it's starting to shake and uh, earthquakes are all around the world volcanoes are coming up all around the world more and more ever and uh it needs to stop america we need to immediately stop uh drawing oil and stuff out of the ground in fact we need to start putting it back in at a fast rate because i believe we're at the tipping point of this we're going to become a star and then become a black hole and i'm going to write that equation for you and i'm going to show you how first you got the equation of the universe I believe that's the international equation. I don't I don't know if it is or not. But people have got to see it on paper. So I'm saying universe plus time. And time is, you know, space and time. We can stretch it or we can compress it. So far, we adjusted our time and clock because of an earthquake in, uh, in Peru or someplace. We had to adjust our clock a minute amount. But well, we still had to adjust it. What's that telling me? It's telling me we're compressing the earth. We're, get, we're starting to compress it for the black hole, for the, for, for the core to heat, heat up and explode, burn all the insulation stuff it's got. It's going to be so hot, we're going to be a star. We're going to burn off the planet, and then it's going to explode. And uh, it's urgent in time. That's why, that's why I'm putting this out. Okay, so it's time minus energy and mass equals the black hole. I'll just put it as BH, black hole. And uh, the only hope I have for us is that there's one more equation after that, and that's infinity. And it, and it happens again and again. Because what I believe is when it happens, when we burn off from being, becoming a sun, we, uh, we become carbon, carbon filaments, and then when the, the star explodes, the carbon filaments fly out, and so you have nothing inside a black hole. And Stephen Hawking said they eventually fizzle out. So are black holes real in the universe? You bet you they are. And Stephen Hawking's ain't gonna lie about it. Uh, is uh, the universe electric? You bet it is. Michael Talbert's got a conference in uh, Albuquerque coming up, and uh, I'd love to meet the man. And uh, and this is basically how I'm coming up with this theory. So believe it or not, I'm just a village idiot, and I'm telling you how to save the world. So. Uh, good night.